something. Oh, let's see. Look at this cool rock. What's that shape on it? It looks like a bird or something. We should go ask Lionstein what it is. Yeah, let's sing the solution song. Every problem we can overcome If we take them on one by one Together we can solve anything Solutions come when we all sing the solution song, solution song, it's so much fun when we sing along. The solution song, solution song, come on everybody, let's sing the solution song. Oh, hey guys. Hi, Hi Einstein. Einstein. And hey kids, how do you like my time machine? Wow, so... You can go forward or backwards in time? That's right. What have you got there? It's an awesome rock. Oh, I see. Dodo. Well, sometimes Bubbles isn't too bright, Professor, but that was kind of rude. No, no, Flexi. This shape in Bubbles' rock is the fossil of a dodo bird. Now it is extinct. What does extinct mean? Hop in and let's find out. We are in exactly the same place, but millions of years earlier. What's that? That's a dreadnoughtus. It's the largest creature to ever live on Earth. Most of the really big dinosaurs eat only plants. No worries. Uh oh, I spoke too soon. Run! What's chasing us? It's a pack of Tyrannosaurus. They've got to eat all of us. That was a close one. Look, that one can fly. Sure, many dinosaurs could fly. In fact, all birds are related to dinosaurs. Why aren't there any around today? Because they are extinct. That means they no longer exist. How sad. Yes, that's why we must take care of all Earth's creatures so they'll be with us for a long time. And speaking of time, it's time to go home. Aw, oh, I want to learn more about dinosaurs. Hey, I got one. Why did dinosaurs go extinct? Because they wouldn't take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I got a million of them. Bubbles, Lexi, what's the happy haps? Did you get some mail? Yeah, it's a letter from my friend Tito Toro. Dear Bubbles, please come visit mi familia in Mexico. Tu amigo, Tito Toro. He lives in Mexico. Where's that? I'm not really sure. Don't they speak Spanish in Mexico? Yes, and I don't know how to speak Spanish. We should go see Lionstein. Well then, let's sing the solution song. Come on, kids, sing it with us. Every problem we can overcome If we take them on one by one Together we can solve anything Solutions come when we all sing The solution song, solution song It's so much fun when we sing along The solution song, solution song Come on, everybody, let's sing the solution song. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, hi Lionstein. Lionstein. And hey, kids. That looks like a complicated experiment. No, no, not really. I'm making some salsa. Want some? I'll try it. Hmm. Lionstein. 
My friend Tito Toro invited me to visit him in Mexico, but I don't know where that is, and I don't know how to speak Spanish. I have just the thing. This little taxi pin. This is a magic taxi. It will get you to Mexico, and it will help you speak Spanish too. How does it work? Just rub it three times. Uno, that's one. Dos, that's two. Tres, that's three. Well, I guess I'm in Mexico now, but where is Tito Toro? Do you know where he is, Taxi? No. No? <sighs> While we're looking for Tito, I'd like to learn some Spanish words. Like, what's the word for street? Calle. And what's that? Tienda. Shop. And what do you call that? Casa. House. Oh, it's Tito Toro's casa. Bubbles. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Say, gracias. Gracias. Tienes hambre? That means, are you hungry? Si, yes. I was speaking to Bubbles Taxi, but you may also join us for dinner at the cafe. Por favor. That means, please. Sounds like fun. But how will we get there? How about a taxi? Wow, you're a real taxi, too. Oh, que bueno. Excelente. Bubbles. Oh, hello, Mischievous. What's the happy haps? I've been watching you all day, throwing away bottles, cans, paper, all kinds of trash. Yeah, it's important to not just put them on the ground. That's for sure. But sometimes, things that seem like trash can be used again. We should put those things in here. It's called a recycling bin. It looks just like a garbage can. But do you see this symbol? This drawing on the side? That means recycle. Things you put in here can be used again. Use my plastic bottle again? But I already drank my juice. Oh, Bubbles. We better go see Lionstein in his lab. He can show us what recycle means. Do you want to go with us to Lionstein's lab? Awesome! But to get there, we need to sing the solution song. Every problem we can overcome If we take them on one by one Together we can solve anything Solutions come when we all sing The solution song, solution song It's so much fun when we sing along The solution song, solution song Come on everybody, let's sing The solution song Hi, Lionstein! Hey, guys! And hey, kids! Welcome to my lab! Now, what is it that brings you to here? We were hoping you could explain to us what the word recycle means. Why, of course! I'll fire up my magic lion screen. With this device, we can learn about anything in the universe. Pretty exciting, huh? Well, here we go! You see, the word recycle means that after you use something, like this bottle, you can use it again for something else. All you have to do is put this bottle in the right container. Then it goes to a recycling center. If we can recycle at least some of our bottles and cans and paper and so forth, it helps everyone. There will be less trash and that means less pollution everywhere.
There's another word I don't understand. Pollution is when the water and air and land are dirty. You know, such stinky stuff. Oh, my, my, Bobby, don't drink it. Why not? It will turn you green. Being green isn't bad. It's good. We should all be green. It means we're doing our parts to stop pollution. That's correct, young lady. So when you recycle, you help keep the whole Earth just a little cleaner and a little greener. And there will be less pollution. Bubbles, I think you've finally gotten the picture. And I'll bet you kids have gotten it right, too. Yes? Now that I've learned what pollution and recycle mean, I'll save my wrappers, cans, and bottles and always throw them away where they belong. Thanks, Lionstein. Let's go get started. A magical nature. <laughs> the great outdoors. I wonder if this is the only ocean there is. I wonder what kinds of creatures live out there. Can you tell me who your friends are? Well, there's only one way to find out about all this stuff. Go ask Lionstein? Maybe, but to get there, we have to sing the solution song. Every problem we can overcome if we take them on, one by one, together we can solve anything. Solutions come when we all sing. The solution song, solution song, it's so much fun when we sing along. The solution song, solution song, come on everybody, let's sing. The solution song. Looks like he's home. And he's got a new toy. Come on inside and see my groovy green submarine. Cool. We were just thinking about what it's like way out in the ocean. Well, this is your lucky day. Because I'm just ready to launch. Hop in. Look at all these buttons. Can I push the red one? No, 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 Bubbles. Whatever you do, whatever anybody does, including you kids, don't touch that button. What about this blue one? Sure, that one's fine. The blue button shows us that there are five oceans. The Arctic, Indian, Southern, Atlantic, and Pacific. Wow, such a pretty button. What if I just barely grazed it with my tie? I said no. Hey, kids, what did I just tell Bubbles? That's right. I said, don't touch that button. What about this yellow button? Sure, that one's OK. Now we'll see some ocean animals and plants. There are coral reefs, where we find all manner of fishes and shellfishes. In deeper water, we have large fishes and mammals like dolphins and whales. There must be a million different ocean creatures. Maybe as many as 10 million. You know, 80% of all living things on Earth have homes in the ocean. Whoa! Uh-oh! Bubbles, did you touch that button? <laughs> Home. So that's what the red button was for. I'm sorry, guys. It was an accident. Oh, it's okay, Bubbles. The red button gets us home. And that's a fine thing after such a long adventure. Fun. 
heaven, but I'm an elephant. I could never fly like Flexi Flamingo. Hey, Bubbles, I'm going to a paper airplane contest. Want to go with me? Sure, if I build an airplane, it's almost like flying, but I don't know how to do that either. You just have to learn how to fold this paper into shapes. It's easy, like one, two, three. Well, sounds like fun, but I'm worried my airplane will crash. No problem. We'll get some help from 2 plus 2 can. He knows everything about math and engineering and building airplanes. All we have to do is sing the solution song. Every problem we can overcome If we take them on one by one Together we can solve anything Solutions come when we all sing The solution song, solution song It's so much fun along the solution song solution song come on everybody let's sing the solution song it's two plus two can top of the morning chappies welcome to my magic rainforest here for the aeroplane contest yeah aces let's get started now the fun of making an aeroplane is to use different shapes to make them fly in different ways. One, we start with a rectangle. Two, we fold the paper into triangles like this. Three, we fold it over again and again and voila, an aeroplane. Now, you try it. And you kids, try it too. Smashing contest! Yeah, my planes smash into the ground a lot. How do real planes fly? They seem so heavy, like me. It's elementary by Jingo. Airplanes have a way of balancing things called lift and drag, which is produced by the thrust of the engines. It helps airplanes get off the ground, even though they are heavy. Hmm. What do you guys think of my new airplane? It's simply brilliant. Your wings are just the right shape. And they're very, very big. Now, let's see if Bubbles can really fly. Come on, kids. Cheerio! Mischievous! I thought I saw an alien from Mars! Bubbles! There aren't any aliens on Mars! How do you know? Well, I guess I don't know for sure. I'll bet Lionstein could tell us. Yeah! Let's sing the solution song! Every problem we can overcome If we take them on one by one Together we can solve anything Solutions come when we all sing The solution song, solution song It's so much fun when we sing along The solution song, solution song Come on everybody, let's sing The solution song Hey guys! Hi, Hi Lionstein! What? Hey kids! Ready to go to Mars? I don't know. I have to be home for supper. No problem. I made these Mars bars. Try one. Mmm, I like it. But because it's a long way. 140 million miles to be precise. 
a Martian bounce house. We're a long way from home. No wonder nobody's here. Except robots. Scientists sent this rover to do research. Wake up, Curiosity. You have company. Hi, Curiosity. What have you learned so far? He says he found water here, and water is essential for all life. Hey, I'm cold. Naturally. It's about 80 below zero. The summers, not so bad. You might need a sweater. So, was there ever life on Mars? Possibly a billion years ago. So, before I was born? <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Curiosity. It's time for us to go. Oh, already? Well... We can come back when they build an Earth colony. I hope they name it Lionstown. Well, see you later, Curiosity. Bye! Goodbye. Now that's what I call progress. The